Hey YouTube, want to see what I've been working on to expand the fish room? Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, Brian again coming at you tonight with another video. Just checking out the Hoga Boomer rooms right now. Got the male and the female. She's all healed up. Gonna be pulling the divider out again soon. As you can see down here, he's doing his best to try to get underneath to get at her. So I don't know how good this is gonna go, but I will be pulling it out again shortly. Probably sometime this weekend or next week. But uh, yeah, they're doing good otherwise. I mean, he'd like to be hanging out with her obviously, but uh, just a little too rough on her. Um, couple of changes and a lot more to come but uh, first of all down here I got rid of all the African cichlid growouts and I got a xyloensis male and female here's the male female is hiding because she took a good thrashing the funny thing is is these were in a community tank at one of my local fish stores doing just fine not a scratch on them holding their own mixed in with some jags actually and some some catfish and just a bunch of stuff and you know nothing was happening I get these guys home and put them in here by the way this isn't going to be their permanent tank but it was the only thing I had available I wanted to get these before anybody else got them and uh, it it wasn't more than a couple hours and he was already beaten on her so now I got two fish that uh, the male is uh, being unkind to the female so as you can see we got to divide her up and uh, these guys will be going in a bigger tank soon as I probably told some of you guys before I'm doing some expansion right here is the first Let's see if I can my basement is a mess because I've been building this stand shout out to Mike Mann for uh, giving me the plans to this if you want to see a in-depth video about this type of a stand go check out mr. man 316's channel got a 125 down here painted the black back back black be two 125s on this stand when it's all said and done so that's cool um, where it's gonna go what I've decided to do now is it's gonna go where these stacks of four foot tanks are and then I'm gonna be building about where that TV is over there a uh, uh, stack uh, for two four-foot stands and then back in that corner where all that crap is another stack for two or three 75 gallon stands or tanks so when it's all said and done I should have um, six tanks down here probably so so that's what's going on down here I'll keep this video short but I just wanted to kind of get an update I've been getting pretty excited about you know building this and getting ready to have a couple six foot tanks down here um, and then have the ability to uh, get some bigger cichlids so I miss having that um, but I definitely don't want to get rid of my discus or my Africans so this is the uh, the obvious choice is expanding the fish room luckily my wife um, didn't take too much convincing and she actually suggested having three stands versus two so kudos to her for that um, as always I want to remind you guys to go over to Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page click that like button a lot of great things going on over there I'd like to welcome Courtney Ray Black to Aquatic Support Systems the newest member go check out her YouTube channel under the same name Courtney Ray Black I'll put the link below along with the other members of Team Aquatic Support Mike Mann Conway Stevens, Jeff Heiser, Sean Armantrout, and of course myself, and now uh, Courtney Ray Black. So welcome aboard, Courtney. Make sure you go check out her YouTube channel and sub up to her. Let's get her subscriptions going up through the roof. And with that being said, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend and more to come from my basement fish room in the upcoming weeks. Later.